You're watching Talking About Orcs. In this episode of Talking About Orcs, we're going to be going over Spearhead. Spearhead, of course, is the free expansion to Warhammer 40k that just came out. So we're going to be going over Spearhead as it applies to the Orc army. The two main things when you do when you do play Spearhead is you have a Spearhead formation. A formation is a uh, set of rules, kind of like an Apocalypse formation, where you pay points plus units uh, for special rules. And any units that are in your spearheads have additional rules just for being a spearhead. Um, if they are within four inches of one another, uh, walkers that can, can run and then shoot one weapon. And vehicles other than walkers can fire one more weapon than would normally be permitted, just like Power of the Machine Spirit. So those are the benefits to taking a spearhead in addition to the spearhead rules. So let's talk about the actual formations. Now, most of these formations only apply to tanks and walkers, which gives us a very limited number of units we can apply to them. Basically having two different walkers, the Dreadnought and the Cans, and then two tanks, the Battle Wagon and the Looted Wagon. So let's go over these one at a time. Uh, the Armored Spearhead. The Armored Spearhead gives all the three tanks, you can have up to three tanks, and all of the vehicles in there have a 5 plus invulnerable save. Now this is probably one of the, the least useful for orcs because we have the custom force field giving us the force plus cover save. Uh, but you know the invul save does uh, work in close combat, which the KFF doesn't work. But still, you know its usefulness is um, very much questionable when it comes to orcs because of the custom force field. So probably that's one we're skipping. The next one though, the next one is just plain uber cheese, and that's the ambush spearhead. Spearhead gives you three tank or walker units, and for that you get the stealth and infiltrate special rules. Why is this uber cheese? Three units of three cans with the stealth rule. Stealth gives you plus one to your cover save. Add that to the custom force field, you now have a three plus cover save on nine cans walking across the board. And it's going to take a lot to punch through that, no matter what you do or what army you're playing. Those, those cans are going to be there for a while. And of course, they being a spearhead, they can move, run, and then still shoot their one weapon, because they only have one. So that gives you uh, a speed and firepower, and almost, you know, their thunder storm shield type protection. So the ambush spearhead with, with killer cans is just and of course the custom force field is just amazing. Well, let's move on to the mechanized assault spearhead. Now this is the one that we can use something besides the four previous units. I think we can take uh, trucks in this unit because they are vehicles of transport capacity. Now this is kind of cool. This, the mechanized assault allows you to give you three units that uh, arrive by outflanking on the first turn. So you just roll your outflank normally, and hopefully they'll arrive in the middle of your opponent's army. This is kind of good for trucks, because trucks are cheap. With three of them, you got 36 boys and three power claws. Or you can fill them up with knobs if you want to. You can get 200-point knob units. That gives you 15 models with two wounds each and full wound allocation. And a whole lot of beatdown. Uh, So the, this definitely could be a lot of fun. Um, of course, you could always use battle wagons full of stuff, but that's kind of spendy for something that might not even come in where you need it to do. But three trucks full of fun, well, that's definitely something that's both cheap and very, very effective. Uh, so let's go on to the tank hunter spearhead. This could be a good use for rocket cans, but with the ambush spearhead, uh, I just don't see it very much. Uh, strength 9 rockets would be kind of fun. Uh, but compared to this ambush, it's just there's no comparison. Um, the next one, the Archaeotech, Archaeotech spearhead. Uh, this is basically useless. Um, if we had a strength nine weapon uh, that could go to strength ten, then maybe. But since uh, our, we caught top out at eight, uh, it's probably not worth it. taking. You know, if you got maybe a DACA battle wagon that uses you know like four big shooters and they're all running down strength six, maybe. Uh, but I just don't see much use for this. Um, 
Outrider Spearhead. This one would be really cool if you could use normal vehicle units as the Outriders, not just tank or walkers. Because this would actually be a good use for buggies. You, know, you have a battle wagon with 90 points of three buggies that basically become three wounds for your battle wagon. But since they're walkers and tanks only, um, it's not very good. I really, really wish they would do normal vehicles on this one. But no such luck. Skyfall Spearhead uh, definitely does not apply because we don't have any skimmers. The Monster Spearhead, again, normally doesn't apply, but if you get someone to let you play with the 50-point squiggoths, uh, baby squiggoths, that could be fun. Squiggoths with counterattack, fleet, uh, furious charge, and rage, carrying 10 boys each. Yeah, sure, why not? But again, uh, really doesn't apply. Mass Attack, spear, mass attack Spearhead. Now this is kind of cool. You get six units taken from the troop section. And the special rules are that you get thermite bombs, which are strength seven grenades, on all the models in the unit in these units. And all units can rally no matter what restrictions, regardless of any normal restrictions. So within six inches, below half, whatever. This with masses of boys will destroy anything other than you know the Land Raider or Monolith. Will just wreck. I can't imagine 30 strength 7 grenades on a Rhino. Yeah, that's that's not going to last very long. So this could be a good way to just build a massive tide of, of tank kill and beat down. Uh, then, of course, we'll make it across the table thanks to the custom force field. So mass attack is definitely something to try. Oh, and best, oh what's really fun... Of course, what would be really fun is use this with Grots. Strength 7 Grot Rhino Killing Squads. That can always rally. They're going to fall back, but they can always rally. Yeah, it could be a lot of fun. Right, Grots coming up and smacking down Rhinos and leaving the rest like, like nobody's business. Um, the Crusher Spearhead. Gives you a frontal armor value 15 for rams. Again, because of the def roller, this doesn't really provide you with a whole lot of benefit. Uh, there are definitely better spearheads to use on your battle wagons than this. Because uh, we're already doing so much damage with the def roller, we don't really need it. Uh, seek and destroy spearhead. It allows you to turbo boost once per game and still shoot. Um, it says fast skimmers or bikes. If we can use this with the def copters, with jet bikes, um, it would definitely be useful, but for just normal bikes, their shooting is not that strong. I mean, you can put out a lot of shots, but it'd be rather just assault or just turbo boost and sit there and wait till you can assault. There's really not a whole lot that oh, strength five shots can do um, in spearhead. You're not going to come up with with uh, against uh, blob IG too much in the kind of game. So I really don't see a lot of use for this for us either. And lastly is the super heavy spearhead, Stompa. What else can you say? Or the Kill Crusher. The Kill Crusher is a fast tank with a good gun, reasonably priced, but uh, obviously this is made for Stompas and Bane Blades. Uh, so definitely give you a chance to use the Stompa you've been waiting for, without having to play actually play Apocalypse. So that's the spearheads. So what would I do for a spearhead list? Well, just real quick. Um, big mech with a custom force field, of course, and cyborg can burn out my normal loadout. I would take three units of boys, one of them being Ard Boys, and a mechanized assault spearhead with three trucks with reinforced rams. I would take the ambush spearhead with three units of killer cans, two with rockets, one with grotzukas, a super heavy spearhead with the 600 point stompa. Uh, you could go, if you want to do some conversions or get the forge rolled stuff, you could get the mech stompa, which gives you the benefit of the Morks gauge, the lift to dropa, and uh, two force fields. And finally, some knobs to fill in with the, put in the stompa with the mech. So you have the stompa surrounded by nine kilocans, all with their three plus cover save. Uh, and you have trucks coming in on outflank uh, right into your opponent's lap. All for 2,000 points. Um, it's probably not optimal, but it could be a whole lot of fun. I'd really like the chance to play it. So that does it for this episode of Talking About Orcs. I'm out of time, out of space, 
and I will see you next time.